All right, so now I asked my mother to write for me a love letter. Yeah? And I also wrote a love letter to her. So, that's what we'll be we'll be doing we'll be doing at this particular time. So, do you want me to start or you want to start? <laughs> what do you want? I want you to start. I want to hear what you have to say to all me. All right. No, first of all, we've never written <laughs> letters to each other. I don't know why. I didn't yeah, write you a letter should... when you no, were even in high in school. school. Because maybe you largely studied at home. Yeah, oh yeah. But my true. mother didn't write a letter to me also. <laughs> but anyway, she did know. She was not yeah. educated. Yeah. Okay, I'll read this letter to Jewel, yeah. my firstborn. Our firstborn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pastor James. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'll just read it as I've written it. All right. My Jewel. Oh, okay. I remember quite vividly that exact moment. You were placed in my arms. It was early in the morning Uh at around 7.30 at Avenue Hospital. I marveled at the tiny, though you are not so tiny, Mm -hmm. you actually, among all my children, you had the highest, you know, weight. Mm -hmm. Uh, But one of the things I remember very well is how beautiful you are. And Mm -hmm. you are very beautiful, I must say, Jewel. And precious bundle of joy, uh, that God had put in my hands um, so graciously because you are our firstborn. You are indeed very precious to me and to your family. Uh, as your name de- denotes a jewel of great value. Mm-hmm. We named you Jewel, uh, Tamani, mm-hmm. Tamana, yeah. because of your great value and worth. And I think if there is something we have put in you is really, and that sometimes could be seen as pride, yeah. is that we have made you know that you are one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, both in God's eyes and in our family. As I said uh, in the last episode, Jewel really has not been difficult to raise up. Uh, watching you grow through the years has filled me with immense joy. Mm. You are my firstborn. My first practical lesson (laughs) on what being a mother really entails. And I've enjoyed every bit of that journey, except... Mm. Ah, you have an except? (laughs) Yes, I hadn't written it. Uh When you were young, Mm -hmm. you really cried. You had colic. I took you to church. This is not part of the letter. Mm -hmm. I took you to church. (laughs) Uh Oh, Jibel used to cry from 10 p.m. in the night up to five in the morning. I almost went crazy for three good months. Um, Other than that, I enjoyed every moment of raising you. From a tender age, you have been obedient, loving, respectful, quite mature for your age, strict, and have demonstrated a great sense of responsibility, even for your sisters and other, you know, relatives. and you've become an exemplary model for your sisters to emulate. You almost, actually you are a deputy parent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes, and they keep saying yeah. that you are their mother. I admire your resilient, you are very resilient, um, your focus and hardworking nature. These attributes make me see myself in you and I'm very proud to be called your mama. Mama Jewel, you gave me the first name, Mama Jewel, Mama Wangari. Mm. I look at you now as a wife and mother, and all I see is God's faithfulness. My heart fills with so much gratitude to God. Thank you for giving us uh, the son, Mm -hmm. a son, uh, and we always wanted to have a son. And now we have a son, courtesy of you, he's a son we are very proud of. Thank you for our two grandchildren, Tadi and Zawadi. They fill our lives, you know. Yeah, yeah, we they wish do. they came first. <laughs> That's true. But they fill our lives so much with so much joy yeah. and beauty. And having them in, the, in our lives is a kind of love that cannot be explained. Mm-hmm. I have seen you press on very tough situation and emerge stronger and more beautiful. Yes, like the recent, you know, getting children almost in one year. Mm. I mean, that was something. And yeah. I saw you a resilience, your yeah. strength, and how you have emerged and how the children are growing. I'm very proud of you. I believe that we are yet to see what God will unveil in you and in your life. 
and I love you my Kiwangare. Yeah, that's what my <laughs> Nobody calls else you. is uh, allowed to call her Kiwangare, <laughs> yeah. but I call her my Kiwangare. Yeah. I love you my Kiwangare, my precious jewel. Thank you for being my daughter. Oh. <laughs> that's so sweet. Your mama, Mama oh, Jewel. So sweet. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gangster. Wow. Okay. Yes. <sighs> okay, these things are emotional, but uh, All right. So <clears throat> you really have a lot to say about me. <laughs> I'm shocked. Okay. <laughs> so mine started with Dr. Lucy because I like calling her doc. I believe the achievement of being a doctor is not a mean feat. <laughs> hey, I've seen the way uh, my sister, now my sister is doing nursing, but I've seen the way she struggles with it and I'm like, really being a doctor is not a mean feat. So I'll call you I call you doc. So I say Dr. Lucy. He once mentioned that people should tell people good things before they die. Mm. And that's why we choose to do this. To say good things to our parents before they go. Um and so I'm lately, not going. You're not going. Yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> but lately I have I've I've seen even burials and all that and people say yani they speak such nice words, they spend money and all that but then when they were alive no one said anything good. So that's why Sharon and I chose to do this uh to our parents. So thank you for being my mom. Being a mother is not a mean feat. I mean, deciding to have a child, I, eh, is not a mean feat. Now I understand what it means to be a mother. So thank you for being a mom. Being a ma- being now be- being a mother has taught me that a motherhood is truly an everlasting job. It never ends. And you <laughs> to date, however old I am, I still go to my mother's arms and I sleep there. <laughs> because she's still my mother it's an everlasting job and i've seen you never get tired to do the job i've seen you sacrifice so many things one of them being your time with your children i remember how you'd pick me up from akini and teach me maths in the car by the <laughs> we do homework in the car <laughs> because we were stuck in traffic for like seven hours or more, in five hours there about so and then and then oh sorry You pick me up in Makini and teach me maths in the cars we drove home with our sandwiches sandwiches from Mutumi. Remember those sandwiches? Yes, yes. My mom used to buy me sandwiches from Mutumi. As in these sandwiches are the nini. The naiva squeezy as it don't do. I am Jakula za Mutumi. If you have please comment <laughs> down below. So when I conceived Zawadi, you're the only person I knew who I would call and would help me to get to for you to become my angel. I remember that night I called you you didn't pick up I texted you didn't and I woke up in the morning and asked me hey is there a problem why are you texting me so many times <laughs> and I said because I have conceived and I thought it was going to be a hard time but you truly truly became my angel people may understand you a lot but you are a great mother a great wife a great colleague actually people really 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 look forward to meeting Dr Lucy and a great pastor to the Fontenge Church fraternity today Mine is short. Today I want to I want you to know that I really love you so much. Thank you. I would not have any other mother and I would not have it any other way. We've had our own fair share of ups and downs, but I'll not ever have it any other day and any other way. And thank you for being sincerely that that statement you have to, I don't know I'll repeat how many times but thank you for being a mom. I think motherhood is a choice sometimes. Thank you for being a mom. You are the you are my best. and you'll forever be i love yes, you mom i love you <laughs> <laughs> oh it's okay <laughs> yeah this is a mother's love guys <laughs> wow, wow okay ah uh, okay thank you jewel i appreciate where okay hey atana shangata funga to episode but thank you by the dog thank you so much as you've pushed me sometimes i even used to wonder why are you pushing me now i see the fruits of why you're pushing me even the course i have done i used to think it was a bad thing but now i see why i did the course i did i have seen you sacrifice a lot and it's it has taught me how to but now sasa hapo kwa you remember to kisema kwa you said loving yourself more asa sasa hapo menifunza sasa hapo sasa kuzi na loving with all my heart and mind cuz now i have to relearn from what you have done but yeah yes. but you've done the you've done exemplary you exceed them all thank you yeah you exceed them ex yani you exceed them 
all and thank you for being my mother thank you i am proud to have my kiwangari <laughs> oh and i should call her kiwangari yeah it's only only mm, um, is it wakadumbe oh that one is fantastic <laughs> that's oh that's juju's all right yes. <laughs> all right so until the next episode thank bye. you bye